This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Here now is Jeff Grimshaw. We welcome you to the TVNews.TV. It's Friday, February 10th, and we begin with one of our new proud franchises. Former CNN anchor, dare I say classic CNN anchor, Bobby Batista is back with her eye on the news. Thanks, Jeff. Topping our report this week, CNN suspends Roland Martin for off-color tweets he made during the Super Bowl. But were they homophobic and did CNN go too far? In my opinion, Roland was trying to be funny at the gay community's expense, and he is without question guilty of poor taste. At least one of those comments was certainly homophobic. CNN clearly felt it had no choice but to suspend them, although I'm not sure what that accomplishes, kind of like a timeout. Roland was, after all, exercising his right to free speech, offensive or not. The bigger issue here involves on-air personalities immersing themselves in social media and not, what, anticipating consequences? My guess is Roland knew better than to make those remarks if he had thought for half a second. But in order to stay employed and stay relevant in cable news today, personalities are increasingly encouraged to push the envelope. Well, news organizations can't have it both ways, unless they decide to bring back the old morals clauses in their contracts. Having said that, on-air people, please use some judgment before you hit the send button. Meanwhile, speaking of incendiary personalities, Newsweek's Rebecca Dana reports this week that Al Gore's struggling cable news network, Current TV, is fighting to stay alive and that Keith Olbermann is the key to that network's survival. Really? After threatening to leave the network over less than ideal production standards, Olbermann eventually calmed down long enough to stay put. But Current TV has much deeper problems than keeping Olbermann happy. The bad news? Over the past six years, the network has not managed to develop an identity or a brand. It was supposed to be Al Gore's vision of a young person's nonpartisan news network with an emphasis on Mr. Gore's environmental issues. Instead, it has simply limped along as a poor man's MTV of video journalism without any real focus. The good news? Young people stumbled upon it nonetheless, and it attracts a much younger audience than other cable news nets. My teenage daughter was an early fan. Now, Current TV is trying to recast itself as the go-to network for all things liberal, the feeling being that MSNBC isn't leaning left enough. This isn't a bad game plan. I'm just not sure Keith Olbermann is the best quarterback. The bad news? He's caustic, unpredictable, eccentric, a legend in his own mind, and a ticking time bomb. The good news? He's a hell of a writer, he's unique, and he's entertaining in a train wreck sort of way. But liberals don't do this kind of thing very well. As Rebecca notes in her article, liberals are not as united in their dogma as conservatives, and they don't necessarily flock to one news source. So it remains to be seen if one man, especially this man, can truly save a network. On the other hand, this is likely current TV's last shot. So they might as well go for the Hail Mary, or I guess in this case, the Hail Keith. I'm Bobby Batista. I'll be back next week with my eye on the news. Well, thank you, Bobby. Now, remember, you can see Bobby's next Eye on the News report. It's available next Friday here on the TVNews.tv. Specially formulated to meet your specific needs, the Monavi elements are revolutionizing how you approach your health. Built on the Monavi BioEssence promise, each of these health pack supplements works with your body to promote your best self. Monavi, a more meaningful life. Uh, regrettably, Eric Mackerlin has taken sick and we wish him only the very best. So let's stick with news on TV. Recently, our BFF, Jimmy Kimmel, made us LOL with this commentary on the worldwide news leader, CNN. Have a look. I think Wolf Blitzer has been watching too much Gossip Girl. Uh, I'll show you what's, what's going, going on, on and I'll repeat it. All right. OMG, look at this. Rick Santorum is 75 votes ahead of Mitt Romney in Colorado. Not a, I said it the last time I said it was Iowa. Remember what happened in Iowa? That was worthy in a o OMG. And right now in Colorado, we got an OMG going on. I'm trying to figure out how to top that. There's no LOL at Mitt Romney headquarters no. right now. Well, it's, I, think it's, I think it's official. The Kardashians have won. <laughs> uh, 
I guess CNN is trying to attract a younger audience. Even I say, even their promos seem like they're targeted at the Twitter crowd. Your leaders in cable news bring you CNN's WTF News. OMG. OMG. LOL. CNN's WTF News will never give you TMI. We'll BRB and have you and your BFFs ROTFLing. JK. LOL. CNN WTF News. Right after AC 360. FYI. CNN's WTF News. F you, MSNBC. SMH. All right, JK. Events and opportunities brought to you by Monavi, the leader in community commerce with a suite of health and wellness products. Right here, right now, Monavi. Visit them at monavi.com. All right, we know. Oh, yeah, we know you want one of these official TV news mugs. Yeah, well, we're giving one away each and every week. Now, for your chance to win. Just like the TV news.tv on Facebook. And then every weekday, we'll post the phrase that pays on our Facebook site. All you have to do is look it up, then email that phrase to us at register at the TV news.tv. And you know what? You're in it to win it. Enter every day and you increase your chances of winning one of these puppies. We want you as a sponsor of the TV news, so you can talk to the entire TV industry in our native tongue, that being video. To learn more about how you can leverage the awesome power of the TV news, email us at advertise at the TV news.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV news. Gabriel Reyes returns with our weekly exclusive Hispanic media report on Monday. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.